Well, we do continue to keep a close eye on our southern border. Growing calls for the federal government for solutions to the migrant surge. Many now looking at what Texas Governor Greg Abbott did to decrease migrant crossings in his state. But solutions to the border crisis are not one size fits all. Look at this. As our Allie Bradley learned during a helicopter ride above the border, this is in Arizona. And correspondent Allie Bradley is live for us now back in the sky there. Wow, Allie, what are you seeing from up there? Yeah, hey, Nicole, we are live right now with the Cochise County Sheriff. We're in Hawkeye, and we are in the Tucson sector on patrol. We are literally patrolling the border. We have only seen one border patrol agent out here in this area. This is the area I'm regularly at in Naco, where we watch people jump that wall, and that is what they're dealing with here in Cochise County. The Tucson sector is one of the busiest sectors, of course, right now that we're dealing with. Let me shut this so you guys can hear a little bit better, and that way we can get this so that... There we go. All right. So the, two, the Tucson sector, Nicole, it is the busiest sector right now. We are seeing the highest number of crossings. We have seen uh, uh, over 282,000 people cross into this sector just since this fiscal year began. For some perspective, when we compare that to the same time frame last year, we're looking at 104,000. So a sizable jump. And again, this sector hasn't been dealing with people who are coming over and self-surrendering. Until recently, they have been a gotaway sector. So what these people are doing is they're running through this vast Mexico region here, jumping the wall, running through these areas that are obviously uh, desolate, they are uh, hard to traverse, and there is no access to these roads. So a lot of these individuals are getting picked up by those load vehicles, and that's how these pursuits are really happening. So we want to kind of break down the sectors for you here. So from some perspective that we're seeing in this sector, I told you those numbers that break down, and a lot of those people are trying to evade, so they aren't going to count in those numbers that I told you about. The wall alone, though, you can see where we are live, we're, we're literally flying alongside the wall here. Now, just about every administration has had some sort of border wall. This one right now is was the one erected mostly under the Obama administration. It's about 17 or 18 feet. The one that President Trump had started to work on was about 30 feet. So the wall structure right now is something that is a sticking point for a lot of Republican lawmakers. They want that border security. They want that wall. But the thing is, a lot of lawmakers and a lot of law enforcement will say that the wall isn't the one solution. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach because not everywhere along the border looks like this. And that's the reality. So take a listen to what Sheriff Mark Daniels had to say about what they're dealing with here in Cochise County. People think the wall's a solution. The wall's a Bradley, live for us there in the air uh, over the border near Arizona. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.